The Artemis 1 SLS rocket first launch scrub yesterday, while disappointing, is part of the process for a new rocket. NASA, of course, is not letting such a small setback get in the way of changing the space game forever. Well, she, Scott Heiler is live at the Kennedy Space Center right now. So, Scott, when might we know if there will actually be another attempt on Friday? Yeah, you know, uh, the countdown clock here is still shows minus 40 minutes, uh, and that's when that last hold went into effect and led to the scrub yesterday. Now, since then, NASA officials have been working that issue with engine number three, trying to figure out what caused it and how to fix it. While several issues popped up during the countdown to the planned launch Monday morning. It's a particularly tricky issue even going in to get that temperature dialed in, according to engineers. It was engine number three that prompted the scrub. Even during the test, uh, uh, campaign. They really never got to the point where they had their issues yesterday. So it's uh, it's probably not that unexpected. The impact of the technical issue is known, but the fix still a question mark. The cooling liquid um, was not flowing properly into the engine, so it's probably most likely some sort of valve problem. Um, it really depends on how well they can get at that part of the engine while it's still on the pad. Even though these RS-25 engines were used during the shuttle program, and NASA engineers know them well, the SLS rocket stack has a different design. So if they can't get to the root of the issue on pad 39B, it's back to the vehicle assembly building and weeks of delays. But it's a new complicated rocket in a program with lofty aspirations. People are not going to remember that there was a scrub on that specific day when we have, you know, human bases on the moon and people working there. NASA leadership will be giving a briefing in the next few hours, hopefully giving us a clearer picture if that ne next launch window on Friday can be used and would possibly be used. Reporting live at the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News. <laughs>